pretty nice looking slip joint but that's not a slip joint this is a slip joint hey wastelanders today well not today yesterday I got in a new knife and I unboxed it I didn't bother to uh, make a video of the unboxing because you know they're easily fucking boring so it's a new Cancept knife I got through the Apex pass around and I'm going to do a review on it but I just wanted to make a quick video and show it what you what I got so I like Cancept's pouches. I don't remember offhand. This is a Cancept, I think. Maybe. Maybe. Let's see. I don't have too many can. Yeah, it's a Cancept. <laughs> I was like looking for the the logo. So, but I was saying I don't remember. This is the only Cancept I own, but I don't remember if it came in this pouch. Probably did, but. You know, I don't remember. This is uh, the only Cancept I own, and uh, I, I believe, and this is the best Cancept I own. <laughs> this is the Fenrir. So, I bought uh, what it, his uh, mid tech that's coming out. I forget the name, man. It, it just it was there, and I just forgot. I've been hit too many times in the head. I probably have dementia early set on dementia still can't think of it I was stalling I can't think of it anyway I'm getting in his mid tech that's coming out anytime maybe maybe in the next three months I hope I think it it said it had a seven month um, production date I think there's been at least three or four months that went by maybe I can't think of it. I can't think of it. I'll put it down on the screen. Anyway, so. What was I talking about? Okay. <laughs> I'm going to uh, show you guys this uh, knife. It's, I believe it's called the Convict. I haven't even like tried to open it. Yeah, it's got a tough detent. You got to like really get your fingers in there your your mitt your meat of the your finger so let's see the logo it's called Sh sheepdog knives i've never heard of sheepdog knives and you can see it's called the convict by sheepdog knives designer i don't i never believe i ever heard them heard of him it's uh also in 154 cm you know like people like have a problem with a uh, billboarding but I like when the steel is listed and I like when the makers mark is on there possibly the name too I have uh, there due to my early set on dementia it's just very hard to remember and I don't write anything down this is nice it has like nested liners I'm not too fond of these this uh, basket weave I, I don't think it's maybe it's called the basket weave carbon fiber I have a, a really favorite Kershaw knockout that's in uh, M390 I think it's M390 steel and it was a sprint run and it has that kind of carbon fiber but I think a little bit worse than this I hate this kind of carbon fiber but I like this knife I like how the I like the knife shape. It's just uh, fits good in the hand. I like. Uh, I mean, it's not total deep carry, but I kind of like these kind of clips for some reason. It's just a little bit um, different. Um, if you're going to use a cheap uh, deep carry clip, semi deep carry clip, this the it has some f flash or style kind of a 
mimics the a knife kind of like that it would be better if it was like truly deep carry but I like this part on down <laughs> I don't like this part so anyway so you know I'm gonna keep this short because uh, I'm going to do a review a traditional review of this oh, this knife this uh, detent is pretty pretty uh, tough and I have to I have big fingers and I, I can't get all my fingers in there let me I'm just yeah I just need to practice open this because it's uh, a get got a stiff detent and it's stiffer than usual yeah I, I think I like this blade I don't know if I would buy it um, with this carbon fiber I I'm gonna have to look it up maybe it comes in mm, no one can stop it probably comes in nine different flavors like probably a wood probably a, a half a dozen g10s maybe it comes in a premium shredded carbon fiber or something like that but as is I don't I wouldn't buy this with this this kind of carbon fiber if it is carbon fiber I it looks like it but I like this blade shape I normally don't like this uh, type of blade shape because it's not stabby enough but this kind of has a worker vibe to it has a good action well I mean it has a good de it has a good detent it's a stiff detent it has good action it um, it was pretty easy to release this knife release this uh, back into the handle let's see if it's centered I believe it's centered yeah it even has it doesn't have a lanyard hole but if you ask me you could, uh, if you made it tight around this post, you could uh, add a lanyard to it. So, it would be funny if I added a lanyard to it uh, through the for the next Apex Pass Around guy. Sometimes I add lanyards to knives, <laughs> and it confuses the shit out of them. They're they're like they will ask questions like, "Hey, why is uh?" the the manufacturer attaching lanyards now <laughs> I only done it like once or twice and I kind of remember people were like a little bit w taken about or weirded out because they don't usually get knives with lanyards on them maybe I'm maybe I'm misremembering you know I I do have onset dementia so. I don't know I'm just guessing <laughs> anyway I'm gonna let you guys go uh, look be looking forward to uh, a review coming your way the Cancep comic and by sheepdog knives I've never heard of sheepdog knives so I'll have to look them up take care wastelanders